before the RFA procedure is done, you should expect to meet the physician in, the, in their clinic or office space to talk about the procedure. Uh, if it's the surgeons or the gastroenterologist Swedish doing it, often you will go through a comprehensive evaluation of your esophagus because we want to know how good your esophagus functions or how rather how well your esophagus functions. We want to know how bad your reflux is, how much acid do you make and how much acid goes up into your esophagus and we want to know how much Barrett's and whether or not you have dysplasia. So all these things should be done up front before you even consider going through an ablation procedure. You would come to the hospital the morning of the procedure and in general the first time we do an ablation we generally do it under general anesthesia just because we want to have a controlled situation and because it's it's easier to do it in that fashion. The ones after that, if necessary, generally are done under just a local sedation where you don't have to uh, have a general anesthesia. Um, you would come to the hospital, you would be prepared, you would come down to the endoscopy suite, we would do the procedure, send you back, and generally most people go home the same day. Then there will be follow-up appointments after that where you'll see the physician at fault to make sure that your post-operative course is satisfactory, that your reflux is controlled, which is very important to allowing the esophagus to heal.